Are you bored of normal power chords when playing in drop C tuning? Don't panic because today I'm going to be showing you four simple chord extensions that are going to bring your drop C power chords to life. So guys like Mark Tremonti, Jim Root, Matt Tuck, Devin Townsend love to use these chords as they really pack out your sound when playing. These chords that I'm going to be showing you work for any variation on drop C, so drop D, drop A, drop B, basically any drop tuning where your sixth string is dropped down in relation to the rest of the strings. However, we're going to be using drop C, so you tune is C, G, C, F, A, D. So these are some simple shapes that are based off of your main sort of power chord when playing in a drop C tuning. So you may have actually come across these before, but today I wanted to show you some of the theory behind them and how you can get the most out of them. So here's the four shapes that I like to use. Firstly, you've got the major one. The minor one. Suspended second. And lastly, the stack fifths. So in order to gain full understanding of how to use these extra notes to really fill out our chords, let's start with our basic shape that we've all come to know and love, the humble power chord. So power chords are made up from the root, the fifth and the octave from the major scale. So in this case, if we were to make a G5 power chord, that would be constructed of the root note, which is a G. Underneath that, you've got the fifth from the scale, which is a D. And then underneath that, you've got another G note, which is the octave. And you can hear how those two notes are exactly the same, they're just an octave apart. It's two Gs, right? From the scale which they come from. By the way, that's why a lot of people love drop tunings. You can access all the notes that you need in a power chord with just one finger by borrowing it across. So if we go back to the notes that we're playing, We've got the root note kind of twice there, right? So you've got G, D, G. So given the fact that we've got the same note basically happening twice in the chord, we can now replace it with other notes in the scale in order to give our chords more tonality. So here's shape number one, the major extension. So if we keep the theme of G now, let's have a look what a G major chord is actually constructed out of so we can get that note into our chord. So a G major chord is constructed from the first, the third and fifth degrees from the major scale. So now it's just a case of getting rid of our extra G note, or the octave if you like, and replacing it with our B note instead. And that will give you something that looks like this. <laughs> And if you wanted to, you can actually sort of pedal back and forth between doing the power chord and the extension, if you like, in order to get more of a full sound. Now let's take a look at our minor chord extension. So just like we did with the major chord, we're going to go back to the scale and see how we can get that minor chord extension. So again, keeping with the theme of using G, a minor chord is based up from the first, flat third, and fifth degree from the major scale. So in this case, with our G minor chord now, we've got the notes of G, B flat, and D. And we're just going to put that B flat note right there on the 10th fret, 4th string. So because most songs use a mix of major and minor chords, it's a great idea to start using the last two shapes we've learned together. Thank you. 
So how about our suspended second chords then? These ones are really popular in heavy metal and metalcore music. Let's take a look. So suspended second chords, or sus2 chords, are made up from the root, fifth, and second note of the major scale. Essentially what we're doing is replacing our major or minor third note with the second note of the scale instead. This also gives the chord a sense of ambiguity to it because it's not really got any major or minor tonality. So going back to our G major scale, all we need to do is pick the first, second, and fifth notes from the scale. This gives us the notes of G, D, and A. So now all it's a case of doing is just adding our A note right here on the 9th fret 4th string. These chords really work great as well when you're going back and forth between them and the minor chords from earlier. So, so far, with a little bit of know-how and theory, that's three extensions, all from one position. Okay, let's have a look at the last shape, the stacked fifth. So for this one, we're going to be adding an extra note on top of our power chord by maximizing on all the fifths that are available to us that we can actually reach. This is going to make the chord sound absolutely huge. So again, if we use G as an example, going back to our G major scale, we learned that a G5 chord or a G power chord is made up from the notes G and D, as we mentioned earlier. So now we can use this D right here underneath what we already have in order to really maximize on the notes that are reachable to us to extend the chord. So now if we put our basic power chord shape down, we can reach down to the 9th fret, 3rd string, and get that D note in there in order to make the chord sound huge. So now, when putting these shapes together, not only do the chords sound huge, but our progressions also have a sense of melody to them. So there you go guys, that's four drop C power chord shapes that are hopefully going to bring your chord progressions to life. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you had fun and most importantly, I hope you learned something. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you're new here. Lastly, if you're a Bullet of My Valentine fan and you want to learn their songs in full, be sure to check out my Bullet of My Valentine guitar lesson library over on my Patreon page. Okay, so that's the video and I will see you in the next one. Take care guys, peace.